Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Rotopax lineup at Revzilla.com. So what we're going to do is in this video, we're going to break down the video essentially into two parts. We're going to talk about the storage options, and then we're going to talk about the mounting options. But before we dive into any of that, we're going to talk about how hard this is going to be for the average person to go ahead and install this on their ADV or touring motorcycle. And on our BSD, our beard scale difficulty for install, we're going to call this a two out of three on our beard scale. And that's because it's not so much that the installation of the plate to a hard point on the bike is the hardest thing to do. You will need some extra tools, you need some drills, and it's gonna be a little bit more of a time consuming task, especially when you need to consider where you're gonna actually mount this, because there's nothing that's actually written in stone. You can put this on a luggage rack or on the top of a side case or a pannier, but really what you have to consider is when the mounts themselves come in around the five pound mark and then the cans empty are anywhere from you know four to five pounds, you know, then you have a gallon of gas which weighs in around seven pounds. You're looking at adding, you know, 25, 30, 35 pounds of extra weight to your bike. You need to make sure it's done in the most appropriate fashion. You don't want to mount this super high up because you can throw your balance points off, especially if you're someone that likes to ride off road. So we'll get a little bit more in install at the end and as we work our way through this. But first, let's talk about Rotopax and we'll start with the storage units that you're going to see on my right hand side. So Rotopax is an American company and everything here is going to be made in the USA. They're out of Utah and they were one of the first companies to really get the EPA and CARB approval for fuel storage. Now you'll notice there's a variety of different storage options from them and their current lineup. The red cans are going to be for fuel, the white cans that you're going to see are for carrying water with you, and then you're also going to have some other options for first aid as well as for toolkits you can get so you can actually use these as storage compartments for carrying extra materials with you on your motorcycle or your overland vehicle. On the table, we've got a variety of different sizes. The white water can you're gonna see on the right is gonna be the one gallon. You're then gonna bump up to the 1.75 gallon. And the larger can that we're gonna have on the table is gonna be the two gallon canister. Now you can also get up to a three or four gallon container. Really with a four gallon container, that's really gonna be for your UTV, ATVs, or overland vehicles. Three gallon is probably the largest that I would wanna see on a motorcycle. And even then you're considering, you know, adding about 30-ish pounds of weight to your bike. So just keep that in mind where you're mounting and how much additional weight you're planning on putting on that rear subframe. So one of the things to note when you're looking at this, this is not your average gas can that you're buying at the store. This is a roto molded plastic, super beefy. You can get a full-sized American man to jump up and top on one of these, and it's not going to fold in on itself. It's going to hold its shape. And that becomes really important when you're considering where and how you're mounting these. If you have a motorcycle crash, you need to make sure that this is going to be durable. It's not going to spill fuel all over the ground if it smashes into a rock. And that's really where Rotopack sets themselves apart with the durability. Now, all the parts that you're going to see on here are going to be replaceable. So there is a spout, which is included within the pack itself. And you're going to notice this locking design. You can simply spin that off and the spout comes out. Everything will be replaceable. So if you lose anything, break anything over time, if anything gets damaged, you can replace any of the parts that you're going to see here. And then that locks firmly into place. So really the construction, the design, the fact you've got handles all over every single section of this really is going to be what gives this its unique quality versus just dropping down you know, a gas tank that you got at Hess onto the back of your motorcycle and heading off. Now the other part that really makes the Rotopax design unique is how you're going to mount this to your bike and that's going to take us into the mounting design. So what you'll notice on my left hand side, we've got a water pack which is already mounted on the top of the top case. So let's start by pulling this off and we'll discuss the mounts. Now the, the mount that I'm using right here is the deluxe mount. And the deluxe mount has a separate locking ring on the outside and you just get more of a secure fit. So what you need to do for the deluxe mount is you just loosen that outside pull and then you just line both areas up and the pack comes right off. And you'll notice you have these two little indentations um, and they actually lock into the back end of the mount itself. So that's what gives you that secure fit. So you'll notice that you've got this base plate. You'll notice that I've got the base plates right here. So what you have to do, and we talked about our install earlier, our BSD, and we call this a two out of three on our beard scale of difficulty. As long as you're handy with a drill, installing this plate onto your pannier or your top case isn't that hard. You need to drill the holes and bolt this down, but it's really figuring out where you want to mount it, right? Because putting a lot of weight up top probably isn't the best thing, but you want to find a compromise of where you're storing that weight on the motorcycle. 
So you've got three different mounting options as far as the mounts are concerned. Now the base mount that you're going to see on my right hand side is just going to be one spinner and you can see those little indents right there that match up with the tabs on the actual rotopack and all you would do is you would spin this down until those tabs come over top and that simply holds it into place. Now the problem here is that that can get loose over time. If you take a five, six dollar bump up, you get the Deluxe. And the Deluxe gives you that same spinner which matches up with the tabs, but once you have the tabs in place, you have a lockdown on the outside. So you can really lock that down and make sure that it's solid and secure on the motorcycle. And then if you want to jump up to the seventy dollar price point, you then have a locking option. Now all this is going to give you is the availability to lock this into place so that once it's on your bike, nobody can come along and take gas or water or your safety materials off of your motorcycle. Now, personally, I don't know if jumping up to the locking mount is the way that I would go, but I would definitely recommend jumping up to the deluxe mount for the extra five or six bucks. What you get is a mount that's going to make sure that the item that you're storing stays in place, it doesn't get loose, and when you're riding along with you know, gas or water on your bike, the last thing you want to do is have that get loose and start throwing itself back and forth, or worse, fall off in the middle of the desert and you don't realize it. So to get this back into place, once you have your, your spinners lined up, you'll notice you just take this, slide it over top, and then you just lock it down. You spin the inside in, once, that is, once the inside is on the tabs, you then just take your outer ring, you lock that down into place and you're pretty much set to go and that's going to be a nice secure fit. The only other thing you'll notice is depending on which one you get it's either going to say Altrider or Rotopax. Altrider is just the distributor here in the US for Rotopax so you might get one of each on the outside. There's really no rhyme or reason for which one you get but just keep that in mind. It's the same brand, same construction. It's just that Altrider is the, uh, the US distributor here. So when we're taking a look at the mounts, the other thing you consider is where you want to mount this and like we talked about earlier there's a wide variety of different mounting options so for example this is going to be an L bracket and what you can do with this is you can actually run this off of the top of a, of a top rack on the back of your bike and then you can mount the roto pack straight to the side of this and use it almost in place of a pannier and that keeps the weight a little bit lower on the bike just keep in mind this bracket itself weighs about five pounds so to throw two of these on the back of the bike and then again with the mounts and the roto packs you're going to be adding a considerable amount of weight but what I do like about this particular way of mounting is you can get the weight a little bit lower on the machine. But one of the things that I do like about Rotopax in general is the fact that they've got a lot of different mounting options so it really comes down to your bike and how you want to get this extra storage onto your machine and for those of you out there tackling long distances and you need extra water, extra fuel, this is going to be the best option for you to consider on the market. Now there's a lot of folks out there utilizing Rotopacks and if you want to hear more about what they have to say, now would be the time to click the info button on your desktop or mobile device which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting this gear through its paces. If you have more questions for one of our gear geeks, you can reach out and give them a shout at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email to cs at ribzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Rotopacks line. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.